good morning. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good afternoon to some, you know. Hey, Lily. Hi, Lovekins. What's up? I'm tired. I'm tired. It's snowing. It's ugly outside. Today is a day where I definitely wish I had some in-house dick. Good morning, curly-headed girl, so that I could lay up under him and, um, you know, share body heat. But nevertheless, we're not going to go into what we don't have. I do have this full body pillow that I'm probably going to cuddle up under um, today after I get my stretch on. Thank you. Thank you, curly headed girl. I'm trying, you know, trying something new, trying something different. You know, motherfuckers be like, I want a new bitch. Okay, you want, which one you want today? Because I throw a wig on and we can play roles. You feel me? Hey. Do I need a service call? What, for some dick? Mm, no, I'm not really pressed on it. It's okay. Mm. but how are you how's the weekend going so far how is your sunday no unfortunately nobody's getting none of this pussy or this <coughs> throat but this starbucks this this starbucks is about to get it Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe some toys got it, you know, just for the fuck of it. Because, you know, the imagination, the imag you know, I have a very, very good imagination. I have a great imagination, actually. So, you know, it's all about perception and what the mind perceives. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Okay, I'm loving the energy that we're pushing out today come through with a good energy um i'm sending that good juju back to you i hope that you are all this you know that's coming through here um i hope that i i'm sending that back to you hoping that you have a good sunday as well um you can see the tattoo on my belly on only fans boo other than that this is all you're gonna see it's medusa you know if you're trying to see how far down she goes she go all the way down to the sweet spot, okay? And you can see the full view of her on there. And, well, the full view of Medusa and her on there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, today is, um, um, I am drinking coffee. Um, this is one of the best gifts I've ever received was an in-home coffee maker. Uh, I didn't, I only drank coffee when I was working in corporate America because it would help me get my day going. Um, and it's a, it's actually a, a natural laxative, you know, for those who, you know, are able to, you know, take care of that. It, it also, you know, helps with that. Don't douse it with a whole bunch of, did I get laid yet? No, not yet. I haven't got none yet. But, you know, if you guys, um, I'll let you know when I get some. I'm normally in a better mood. I'm more spunky when I'm getting some, getting the D. I haven't got any. Nothing but this womanizer and these thoughts, you feel me? Um, but it's all right. So you said it helps diabetics. Um, well, someone said that it helps diabetics. So yes, coffee. Um, like I said, it's a gift and it helps me start my day uh, and not start it with liquor or possibly wine. No, don't be sorry because when I get it, I'm going to ride that like a rodeo. So you ain't got to worry about it. 
when when I get it and whomever I get it from just know I'm gonna put a hurting okay I'm gonna put a hurting on them okay because I'm gonna ride them into the motherfucking sunset because it's been a while but nevertheless now I won't lie to y'all we rolling into next week and I ain't got it. I'm probably going to start turning into a little bit of an angry bird. Some shit that I might overlook will get addressed. Um, you know, some shit that I let slide. <laughs> I mean, like, might be like, bitch, you got me. Because I turn into a gremlin. Like, when I don't eat, I'm an angry person. <sighs> when somebody don't clap these cheeks. In a long enough period of time, I turn into an angry person as well. So I'm just saying, we rolling into that week where the these moves about to be hit and miss because I ain't been getting no dick. But you know, it's all right. You know, it's all right. Mm -mm. I'm wondering why this motherfucking coffee so bitter. I ain't got no cream in it. I'm like, I was having real coffee, not a cappuccino. Um. Well, first of all, and, and I don't know, I'm lactose intolerant, guys, so I use the almond milk. So I'm like, don't get me wrong, I like all oh, my shit black, but this espresso, need a little bit of something, something, it comes in, it's just like, uh, it's hitting, it. finna have me bouncing off more, finna, the espresso about to make me find a dick to bounce up in the dime on. God damn. Trying to preserve my. You feel me? Um. Why am I not getting any? Because I'm not. I'm not putting any pressure, I guess. Applying pressure. Don't worry, guys. When I want it, when I really apply some pressure, someone to call away. I just, you know, the person that I get it from, we're just not fucking in line to each other right now. So, it's a drought. Not a drought. It's a dick drought. It's a dick consistency drought. It's a good dick drought. Good dick normally lacks consistency. So, my shit's on ice right now. Sucks. Not a happy camper. That doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, we be fucking alarmed. And we... <laughs> we I apparently fucked and told the wrong lie, so... I ain't got none in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I apparently fucked and told the wrong lie while we was fucking and he might have take it, took me seriously and I might have got cut off because um, he didn't realize that I was lying at the moment. So, you know, until we can figure figure that part out, you know, shit's just on ice. It's, what, what can I do, you know? That's why I say y'all better disclaim. Send out disclaimers when you're fucking and lying to each other. Because now, um, you know, you're going to end up like me. Wishing and hoping and working on a toy with a dream. It's gotten so bad that in the first for the first time in a few years i had a wet dream i actually came in my sleep that's when i was like whoa and then you know wait a minute oh god is it that bad it's apparently that bad you know we had the mishap where i was on live the other day and we was talking about sex and a wet spot happened that is what happens when she is not played with properly and you know and that's just that you know it's a drought it's a drought you know, I fucked around and motherfucker believed the lie I told. Well, I told you we'd be fucking and lying to each other. I don't understand how you would even do that to yourself. 
What's that? Nigga, I told you we be fucking in line. I know you be fucking in line. I'm fucking in line too. What is the pressure of the disclosure when you're fucking in line, y'all? Let me tell you, it's serious. Um, no, I just want some dick. I don't. I don't want a man. I just want some dick and some mouth. Might want to snail you occasionally. But I don't, I don't want, I'm not looking for a relationship. The dating pool has both piss and shit in it for me. So I'm just going, I just, I just want some dick. What was the lie? Honestly, I don't know which, I, I don't know which lie it was. You know, because I told a bunch of lies that day. He was hitting it good. I lied about a lot of shit. Um, I don't know. And I am not going to lie to y'all. I ain't finna ask neither. I don't know which lie it was, but I was lying my ass off that day because he was clapping these motherfucking cheeks. <laughs> if you see this video, I'm, I apologize. I apologize. Okay. There you go. I'm, I apologize for... Um, Cause I know I was wrong. I can't carry a tune, but you understand where I'm coming from. You know, hit my line so you can clap these cheeks, bro. I'm sorry. I did that, mean it. I will take all of those lies out of the fucking in line, you know, lines that we use. I just won't use none of those lines that I used that day. I'm not gonna tell you. That I'm gonna start telling the truth why we having sex because I am not. But I will take those particular lies out. All right, so hopefully we can come to um, <laughs> some mutual agreement because it's hard out here for a pimp. You feel me? Um, you know, so that's just kind of it. I told y'all, I told y'all, see, bruh, I am, hold on, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you know who I'm talking to. You gotta send that disclaimer, I know, I know, look, I know because that same lie you told her, that nigga be saying that shit to me, that's why, nigga, I know you, you fucking lie to me, like when you be clapping my cheeks, I know the shit be good, so you be lying. Just like when you hitting it, the she be good, so I be lying. You mad at me, you be lying too. Nigga, that's like when a motherfucker be like, oh, he cheating. Well, shit, I cheat. We a bag of Cheetos. You lie. I was lying. But you mad at me. But I know you was lying too. You knew you was lying. Fuck this fucking coffee. You know what? Let me tell y'all something. Cause this shit is not fair. It's not. It's not fair. I don't like it. I feel some type of way. I feel some type of way about it. I don't like it. Man. With that being said, because I was talking about it. It's, is it noon? Oh, it's about to be noon. And noon, we're going to take our sip because it is finally noon somewhere. And fuck some coffee, I mean. Coffee ain't going to cut it. All right? Yeah. You lie, you lie, I lie, we some lions, okay? I, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, that's funny, yes. They be freestyles, you know, to make the shit better. It's, or as I like to refer to them, it's theatrics. We in this bitch, <laughs> it's theatrics. We was having, I thought we was in a movie. 
And we was acting, right? I mean, well, not acting because the shit actually was good, but I'm a, I'm a star. Are you? Because it was scripted. I, just, I thought it sounded good at the time. You know, we was putting on a show. You freestyle, I freestyle. You clap, I clap back. You know, I thought it was who had the better punchline. It wasn't. So now here I am. Mm, 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 mm. So, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. We're going to get through it today. Yes, Rick and Morty is on the, they on Taylor Made surface. Yeah, whose line is it anyway? Yep. Um, what? Yeah, you gonna say anything? Thank you. So y'all understand. We, like you said, when the when the when it's right, he hitting it right. The dick good, the pussy good, the ad, you know, it's a it's a good rhythm. The cheek to slapping back, you know, it's bouncing back when he hit it. So I get it. Shit, I done seen the shit on camera. Like it looks good. It looks fantastic. Yes. Yes. We liable to say anything. I don't hold that against me. We was having a good time. <laughs> the lies we tell. I think that I'm going to write a book and call it that. Call it The Lies We Tell. And base it all on the lies that are told. Why are you getting fucked good? So you don't end up in trouble because somebody mistakenly believed the lies that you told don't hold it don't hold it against me <laughs> what up though what up though so yeah don't hold that shit against me oh shut up chef disaster that probably sounds like you can't even fucking cook not a blow that shit in. Nigga, we having sex. I might have told you the pussy yours. It's not yours. It's mine. It sits right here. I can't give it to you to put it in your pocket. This is my pussy. I'm actually just letting you borrow it. Fellas, if a lady is telling you this pussy is yours, it is not. She is just in fact letting you borrow it. So miss me with that. That's a lie and taking the shit far too serious, okay? No, he wasn't married. Anybody else want to go? Y'all want to hold hands and sing Kumbaya? All right, y'all already know where you got to go. You want to see some twerking, some ass, some pussy. You know, what I did with a deal, though. All on other fans, okay? Yeah, it's my, it, it's our moment. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all already know. What lie have I told? I don't know what the fuck lie. You know how many lies I told during that one session? At least six. I told at least six lies during one session. But the shit be so good. And like I said, the fuck don't make this about me. Because he be lying too. He be lying. I know when he... Because cause the nigga... Uh, uh, you know, y'all got the deep moan or the uh, whatever the fuck y'all do, and then that's when the line utters out. So, nigga, I know that that stroke was really good to you, and you just lied too. So, don't make this about me. He be lying too. I just don't believe the shit. I just, I just know that I, nigga, I know you lying. I know it's all right. Hey, high five, nigga. That shit was great. Well, I, I don't take it seriously. You want to take? You took it to heart. That's not fair. That's not fair. Come on, man. It's not fair. <sighs> y'all, y'all not about to make this about me. 
that's the whole point. You see the comment, I never ask a woman. You don't have to ask a woman if the pussy is yours. First of all, we all know that that's a lie. We know when you just get to borrow it, you just, you know, you might be leasing it right now, okay? But she might say it. You know, she might even, some women will lie and tell you, you got a handsome dick or this dick is good and it might not really be good. But she's, you know, in the moment. All women are actors. Some just get paid for the shit. But my point is I'm not, I wouldn't lie about that. The dick is A1. It's amazing. Every time. I'm never, it's never not been a good time. Point is, it's so good that we create these feelings that we don't have when we're in our right state of mind. And I know that. And I thought he knew that too. But apparently, reality and that shit got mixed up and I'm in trouble. Right, it builds character. It's only yours when you're in it, touche. It's just your turn, touche. Again, if she asks you if the dick is hers, lot, yeah, yeah, bitch, yeah. Cause what? What you gonna say? No, you gonna say if a, if a, so. So just let me get this straight. If you if you fucking a girl, <laughs> and she say, "Is this my dick?" And you say no, you gonna fuck up your pussy. You gonna fuck up your head. All of that. You should supposed to say, yeah, baby, this your dick. Now what you gonna do with it? What? Nigga, I'm about to go crazy. It's mine. I'm about to eat it up. You know? I'm about to ride it into the sunset. I'm about to throw this ass back on it. Don't ever tell a girl, no, it's not hers. I don't give a fuck if it's a one night stand, okay? <laughs> if you tell that bitch that that dick is not yours, I'm gonna let you know this mouth and pussy performance went from an A plus to a possible C. She might even epically fail, okay? So I encourage that you fucking um that you you roll with it, roll with it, roll with it, okay? Cause that's just like boom, you hitting a bitch. Even if you like, we we know it's a lie. Is this pussy mine? Yeah. And you tell that nigga that he gon' he about to uh, he about to stroke that shit. He's about to make love well, make love to it, um, but not actually love it. You know, like you you get what I'm saying. So yeah, it's just cause when you it, when you you know embrace those lies during sex, the performance is better. It enhances the per overall performance of the act. I embrace the lies that we tell during sex, but we got to understand that they're lies. All right, ladies, when he's up in that pussy and it's feeling good to him, he say, oh, I want to put a baby in this motherfucker. Don't believe that shit, bitch. He was lying. You just happen to have some really good pussy. Okay. Now, unless y'all married or something, then, you know, the dynamics change, but don't believe that shit. I mean, niggas been like, I have, you might want to procreate with me, but nigga, no. But you can't say nigga, well, I ain't gonna lie, because I didn't, the same nigga that I be fucking him, that we be fucking lying. You know, we have, nigga, no, and you're not allowed to say that. You know, and that's why I said streaking. Streaking from the lies we tell during sex because, because, it's some shit that he's not allowed to say to me that I know is a lie. Just like I didn't know I wasn't allowed to say whatever I said that was a lie. All you gotta do is say, mm mm, don't don't play with that lie, cause it's gonna it's gonna make me actually emotionally attached. Cool. Then we take it out the lie book. That's all. Just like you know, you nigga, you can't lie to me like, oh, I want you to have my no, nigga, no. We we strict. Shrieking from the lie book. You're not allowed to say that while we're having sex. Okay, cool, cool. You cool? Okay, cool. I'm cool. Next lie. You know what I'm saying? Next lie. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Yes, 
because you're supposed to you're supposed to look at each other and la and laugh at the lies y'all told afterwards that's how the fuck you knew it was good and it was a good time because you look like now nah, nigga you know you was on some bullshit shit i was on some bullshit too high five slap hands <laughs> the fuck listen no i'm not married um what lies did i tell guys i don't know which lie it was i told like six of them during the whole overall act six of them out of the six 50 percent of them were told while he was hitting it from the back two of them were told while i was laying on my stomach no, no, no. One was told while I was laying on my stomach. One was told while I was riding him. And then one was told missionary. Six, yep. Yeah, so, you know, it's just certain shit. Bro, if you didn't want me to say it, because it actually will put you, you know, in that emotional mindset, you're supposed to just say that. No, you're not allowed to say this when, okay, cool. I won't say it. All right, because I got the ones that he knows that he, you're not allowed to say, no, 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 no. And if he does it in the middle of it, because he'll sometimes try to slip that shit in here. Hey, smack him while we, hey, nigga, no, you're not allowed to say that line. Now focus, get back to the lies that we tell each other. No, I might have. No, I always say I love this dick because I do. I love the dick. I love the protruding portion of your body. It's what's got you the reigning champion. You feel me? Mm. Am I lying now? No, I'm not lying now. Well, when he says, when he says a lie, he's not supposed to, because listen, guys, we're human. And this is both for men and women, okay? There is certain shit that you can say to a person that will trigger a real emotional reaction, okay? So, in the midst of you understanding that you guys are fucking lying to each other, there's just some lies that you cannot... I I mean, you can if you want to. I don't recommend that you play with because a motherfucker will fuck around and get in their feelings for real. And then you'll be like, but why are you acting weird to me? Because, nigga, you said something that touched me in here while you was pulling my soul out through my coochie. So I got to process it, okay? Because it's, it's just not. So, yeah. It's just some shit you just don't say. So when we, when I told him, look. You got to take that off the lie list. Stop fucking saying this shit while you fucking me. Cause you be fu and I've been in fucking around and been like, yep. And wait, nigga, no, no, no. When I say, yep, I am for sure lying. So I have to in the middle, like, I, 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 I. nigga, no. And stop talking to me while you fucking. It's not fair because I'm going to agree to a bunch of shit that I wouldn't agree with in my normal state of mind. So absolutely the fuck not. No, I'm, I don't, well, unless you really love each other, then that's different. But I love this pussy, or I love this dick, or I love how this dick feel this pussy up. Oh, can I come on this dick? All that, ah. yes. Uh, you my bitch, all that. Uh, you telling me how good my, uh, what? Am I going to do what? Am I your what? You what? Yes, yes, yes. Nigga, no. And then when I get done, nigga, no. I didn't mean none of that shit. Your dick is good. I don't like you, but your dick is phenomenal. You know, it's grade A. Fucking piece of meat. Yeah, nigga. That's what I'm saying. It's not fair. Niggas know, especially when they hit that shit right, you ask a bitch, that's what y'all been seeing that meme, you can get a bitch to pick up anything on her way to the dick appointment. You can say, bitch, I want motherfucking, 
I don't know, Ruth Chris at 1 a.m. in the morning. That bitch will fuck around and make some stuffed chicken on her own or make her, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you hungry? Okay. Oh, you want on her way to her dick appointment? Yes, you can get anything you want. So imagine how she act on her way to the dick appointment and then the shit that you ask her while you actually in the pussy. Yes, you finna, yes. Nigga, you said what? You want me to go? Capture the moon and bring it back. Okay, give me one second. Just let me let me make me come, and I got you. If I, if I make this pussy come, you gonna go get the moon? Yes. You want the sun too, nigga? You want the galaxy next? You want the galaxy next to us? I heard they discovered three more planets. You want them too? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, absolutely. You don't talk while you fucking, you need to grow up, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know things going well. When y'all talking and you get to, and she's, yeah, yeah. You, the bitch can have a dick down her throat, and I know, because I'm one of them. You like sucking this dick? I love it. And I'm sitting here trying to say yes, and it's down here. I muffle this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know I ain't lying. If y'all don't know, now you know. And you need, if you haven't been, I suggest you incorporate talking during sex and lies too. But just, you know, make sure you got a good balance and let them know that everything is not the truth. That you are not telling the whole truth, okay? It's not about pillow talking. Who? That's not pillow talking. That's fucking. It's different. It's not like, oh, I'm laying on his chest and he's rubbing my hair and lying to me. No. I said, the lies we tell, why you hitting, why you clapping these cheeks, okay? Yes, the lies we tell, why you clapping these cheeks are not the same lies that you tell while, I'm, while we're, you know, now it's different. Now I'm laying here and we ain't gotten a shower yet, so we just letting our bodies marinate in our juices. <sighs> And then now nah, the motherfucker didn't hold up, nigga. Cause wait a minute. But no, why you clapping them cheeks? It's not pillow talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, motherfuckers be forgetting. Motherfuckers be forgetting the ground rules. Yeah. And then, like, my, a person was like, I hate talking during sex. Grow up. Why are you in here? If you, listen. If you don't like to talk during sex, you're in the wrong life, buddy. Where's my water at? I need water. Um, you're in the wrong place. I encourage you to go somewhere um where you're accepted hey you guys like talk talking during sex is actually not freaky it's it's actually it's actually part of regular sex you know that's that's not a i mean music is cool but make our own music what the fuck is my waters we can definitely make our own music um well no it's rules and fucking um yeah it's normal it's normal bro if a nigga asked me what my social security number was while we fucking get out out get out get out get out get out with nigga what you don't get scammed out your pussy ladies You said if it's yeah, if it's no talk, I don't, bro. First of all, I'm inclined to say I would be insulted if a nigga didn't say at least if you're not at least moaning at the that's the bare minimum. Not and not like a over dramatic moan because I don't like theatrics. But that you know when you put it in and that you know y'all got that mm, or that deep breath y'all do. That's the bare minimum. But if you don't ain't dropping like a shit or a something, I am fucking offended. You know, 
I'm offended. So, at least drop a, you know, a one word. <laughs> um, eye contact, yes. Um, if, 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 if it's, you know, feasible. But if you got me bent over, you know, I might look over my shoulder, but it's, that's kind of hard. I told y'all about my self-sustained injury that I got um, during sex with the whole eye contact thing. So, you know, ladies, just be weary of it. You know, I know you would be wanting to be awesome. But please be weary of when you are trying to keep eye contact and a man is coming. Because if it gets in your fucking eyeball, it's going to feel like it's falling out, okay? So, I'm just saying personal experience where you want me to come while i'm sucking his dick oh baby you can come in my face come in my mouth where you want to come at you're like all right i'm gonna put it on your face cool i'm gonna rub that shit in make me a whole face mask he was a sprayer the fucking shit shot out everywhere including my eyeball so now i'm laying here with it swollen feeling like it's gonna fall out the socket trying to rinse it got the eye drops you know it was a tough it was a tough sex injury you know this motherfucker go to sleep i'm just laying here in just uh, in agony because my eyeball won't fucking close and it's burning so if you do the facial close your eyes you know imperative imperative if you care about your sight now if you choosing potential blindness over it baby you can here's one of my badges you can have it um but men please understand when you're coming she is going to break eye contact to close your eyes so the cum does not get in her eye okay no he no he didn't have dirty cum first of all as even men with healthy diets cum is just naturally has a high acid level so this, which is why when we swallow, we get heartburn too. So fuck around, be burping up kids all day. You like the ones that choose violence. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I encourage them, you know, violence, yes. But I ain't trying to look. I, I need both these eyes. You feel me? Nah, but no, no, I totally get it. Um... So yeah, you know, even if you even if you swallow, my champions, I, you know, we know what it is. But you can have a nigga. All you can eat is pineapple and water. Come is still, it's an acquired taste. All right, it's gonna give you a little acid reflux. You know, little you're gonna be burping shit, and you know it's gonna be the kids. You're gonna burp up kids for like a whole day. It's just what it does to your stomach. I need some Tums. Tums might flush them down, you know. I know. That's why I said the conversation be intense during sex. Nigga, you want to do what? Yes, let's try it. I, let's do it. You can do whatever you want. You want to go get on the roof and fuck? Let's do it. I, I don't care. Whatever. Can I come on this dick right now? Fuck around and say the right shit to me. I'm like, oh, no, I'm done. But you know how that shit go. Yes, definitely burping up a newborn. Do I like my toes sucked? Yes, I do. See how, I don't know if you seen that picture I posted yesterday. I don't keep these toes fancy for nothing. Boy, first of all, well, yeah, morals, values, integrity, you are definitely right about that, but I'm letting you know that this, you could not have a flare up or, you know, you could have been cool, you swallow some cum, baby, you're going to feel that shit. For the rest of the day, you're gonna be like, 
this all day. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not, fellas, I'm not negating swallowing. I'm just telling you the aftermath of what women go through and why. And then a lot, like, I... My nigga who mad, who, who, who we not, you know, speaking. This nigga, like, we can fuck a few times. He he has the same load every time. So it's not like, ooh, I can fuck, give him some pussy, and then give him some head. And it's going to be a lighter load. No, this nigga will drop the same load. So if I catch it and swallow it, I just, you know, so it's like, oh, God, it's a lot. It's all hot. Comes down, comes out hot. <laughs> Like, oh, wait a minute. Oh. You know, but it's cool. It's whatever. Yeah, public sex be lit as fuck. The only problem is actually finding somewhere to do it. I do not encourage you to have sex in parks, guys. We got to leave the parks alone. People is really getting in trouble for parks, okay? What if your throat is what while it's coming? I don't, you missed something. Baby, both, both parties can be squeaky clean. Um, semen's, no matter, I mean, how clean you are, still can throw a woman's pH balance off. So, tread lightly on shooting up the club or not pulling out because y'all can be squeaky fucking clean. Sperm is sperm and pH balance is pH balance, okay? It's going to upset it. So if you want to remain squeaky clean with a healthy pH balance, don't shoot that motherfucker up too much. Do you even know what you just said? I don't even think you know what you just said. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to. Well, no, you still, regardless, even if you don't shoot the club, but even if you don't come in her, a woman is supposed to pee before and after sex. I hope that we all know this, but fellas, I'm telling you, even if she does pee after sex, that's to prevent a urinary tract infection more than a bacterial infection. Keep that in mind. See, the lies we tell, I am dead. Uh, what a, I couldn't see the, uh, the after that. But, um, so, yeah. So, just keep in mind, if you is, if you not pulling out at all, you're going to upset her pH balance, okay? So, and then you might have to take a few days off unless you don't, uh, unless you don't mind the smell. Uh, a key key clap your ass to OnlyFans. You can see a whole lot of ass clapping there, okay? I am TaylorMade.com or OnlyFans forward slash TaylorMade. What what's called a tender dick? Which one? I haven't. I didn't. I don't. I might have missed them, but we're actually we're vibing today. I haven't seen any tender dicks or any soft ass comments in here so today is a good day i'm on my ice cube today is was a good day thank you is anal on the table um anal is an acquired taste i know that not every woman likes to participate in it um, but I will tell you, and again, this is all from my own personal experience. Once you, once we go anal, you cannot go back in the pussy. I don't care. You cannot, um, cause it, that's, it's a lot happening there. So once you jump off that pussy and dive in that hole, better end in that hole, buddy, because you can't get back in the pussy unless we are full blown showering and Clean that off and sanitize it. Baby, 
we all know I do not discuss what I actually do on there. You got to sign up just like everybody else, okay? Additional content can be found in the DM section for purchase. You told a lie. You you told her you wanted her to have your baby. It's all right. That's one of that's what I'm saying. That's that's one of the ones that's on my. You're not allowed to say this during sex, okay? That's on we we are gonna strike that from the lies we tell. Thank you, big body. Thank you for the shout out. Well, big body. Said OnlyFans is lit. Hopefully, you know, that gives you the confirmation that you need. I don't know that women have a problem with men that have a nipple fetish. It's just to each his own. If you find a woman that doesn't like her nipple to play with, go find one that does. Just gotta find somebody that likes what you like. XYZ, go find you an XYZ, not an ABC, okay? Um, Is a man coming quick? Well, how quick? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Where else public? Um, I've hit a movie theater. I've hit a parking lot of Ruth Chris, Broad Daylight. Um... You know, downtown has, downtown Detroit has nice, extraordinary little areas that you can go and have a ball in. Um, notorious for, for malls and um, not the big restaurants, but like those little, you know, those bars like downtown, the restaurant slash bars those places you know where a person's knocking on the door but you getting hit and they can't when I get done you can come in yeah so I'm going to get you hold on Ooh, and you are black Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, elevator. Yes, I got an elevator in Miami. I was actually sucking dick on it though. I wasn't. We didn't have sex. I was just blowing them down. You know, I'm one of those that if I feel like I can get away with it, I'm gonna try. I just be having to have a partner that doesn't mind me trying. You know, I gotta have a person that doesn't mind. If we get, you know, or if it look like we almost got caught. That's what you got to have. Um, I'm, hey, I'm not out here measuring dicks, okay? I can look at it and be like, eh, you know, but I, I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to bust out a ruler and be like, let me see. Is this at least seven inches? Because the thing is, you can have a seven inch skinny dick and I'm not going to want it. I prefer girth. I like to be felt up. So, how y'all can eyeball. My fellas love to be like, I can eyeball. I can eyeball. I am not you jerks. I'm eyeballing it. I'm going to be like, you sir. I would like to try that. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, some men have too much dick. And it'd be like, you sir, no thank you. Uh, you can shake your, shake your ass all the way to my OnlyFans and you can see it shake there. You can see it clap there, all of that great stuff. I wear a size small in these. They have magnificent stretch.
um they do we just gotta you know sometimes you just gotta give them a little sauce so they can mix it in it's all right you know my game didn't i didn't you know my game didn't get to where it did on its own now i was naturally curious so that helped a lot but experience you gotta try shit you gotta be trying shit trying shit i don't like that trying shit trying shit okay i can do this trying shit trying shit don't work so it, you know but that's the that's the thing you have to um and if fellas if you have to find yourself where you're with a lady and you like uh she don't she don't you have to women are curious which is why they goofball asses be going through your phone and want to play detective and CIA when it comes to if you dealing with multiple women. So they're women. We're naturally curious creatures. So spark her curiosity sexually. Spark her curiosity sexually, and she'll be more open to wanting to try things. Baby, you can't get to know me outside of this shit because I'm not interested. Um, that's all. So, fellas, if you have a lady who is inexperienced and you want to open her it up. Who's... Oh. <laughs> so, T, I cannot wait to hear about this. Um, no, you don't actually. That's, that's not what it is. I'm actually just not interested. Um, head while driving, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And my buddy who said get rich, no, I actually require a middle school literacy level. Um, and taxes, you have to file taxes. That eliminated 70% of the people on here, okay? So, move around. Good D, making a woman go crazy. You want you want the T on the good D and why women act crazy. This is what happens. You fuck this girl, you give her some good ass dick, you provide her a out of body experience. Right? You, you when I find you, I'm a step from behind you, okay? Um, so, you provide her this out-of-body experience. This is why she goes crazy. Because now, she is infatuated with you. Because you have provided her this out-of-body experience. Possibly an experience she's never had before. Now she's infatuated. Now she craves it. Now she wants it. She wants it. She goes crazy because you provided this to her and now she's infatuated. Some women get it um, confused with love, but some will say, I love you. In all actuality, she's just infatuated with you. So now, as a woman, and I'm telling you, this is how women are. I hate everybody that could have possibly experienced this out-of-body experience that you provided to me. So that means all of your exes. That's why, nigga, you ain't got no reason to be friends with none of your exes unless y'all got a kid. Now, if y'all got a kid, we on a different ball game. But if y'all ain't got no ties, fuck that. Oh, this is my homie forever, bitch. No, 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 ma'am. Because you've experienced what I've experienced. And honestly, bitch, I know why you're around because you're hoping that you can experience that shit again. That's why them bitches that's like, oh, I'm going to be re around regardless. No, you're going to be around till the right bitch come around and tell you no, ma'am. Okay, because you can carry your ass the fuck on somewhere because I know why you standing around. you standing around hoping that one day y'all going to gonna experience this out-of-body experience. But right now, this is my fish, okay, bitch? So don't touch my fish. It's a whole bunch of other fish. Go find your fish, bitch. Right now, this is my fish, okay? And he is just sucking on this pussy and fucking on this pussy and I just will go crazy if I find out he's doing this shit to somebody else. Then, she don't even have to necessarily be an ex. Any woman with a vagina. Any woman with a vagina that we think that might be interested in you. The bitch don't have to be interested in you. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, not you don't you don't have to be interested in a female, but the bitch. If we think a bitch is interested in you, oh bitch, get away from my nigga. Get away from my fish. Take your fishing pole the fuck over there for I fuck you up because you have provided this out of body experience, and we don't want nobody else to have it. And we definitely hate all the other bitches that we think that had it. And we really, really, really hate the bitch that taught you how to provide it. We don't like her. Because, bitch, let me tell you something. I don't like it. And I don't like none of y'all hoes. And I don't like y'all. Okay, I'm the family cool. But sometimes you got to watch out for niggas' family because... They'll fuck around and do so much for their family. The family will fuck around and be mad at you because he got a woman. Like, bitch, ain't you his cousin? Why are you hating on me? You his cousin. What you want? You can't, you can't be his woman, bitch. You his cousin. I know you want to, but you can't. It's mine. You know? So, that's there you go. That's what happens. So, you know, excuse her. Stop. Stop, stop, provide. Well, don't stop, provide. Out of body experiences. Oh, Lord, I could just not imagine what the world would be like if it just stopped getting good dick. But <laughs> just be careful who you throwing it on, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what the fuck happens. Be like, you be like, digmatized. Be sitting there like, oh, I love it. You in a club, you cool. You can be cool. Y'all can be having a good time. The instant a bitch be like, Hey, don't bitch. I wish you would. Took I punch you in your head. Don't. I'm notorious for telling the bitch. <clears throat> you ain't got to touch him to talk to him. What? Huh? You don't got to touch him to talk to him. I know what that. Hey, and all that shit is. Bitch, keep your hands to yourself if you don't want your fingers broke. Carry on though, baby. You good? You want something to drink? You hungry? You you want your dick up? Yeah, bitch. My fish. Uh, what what girl are you talking about? Um, yeah. Um, I, I don't know about the whole marriage thing. I I'm not married, but you know, T is guys. So maybe we'll have her um come on and talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm not about to play with you and my fish, bitch. I'll knock your fucking, I'll be turned into, you get roundhoused over my dick, bitch. Wait a minute. Yeah, bitch, I don't fight over it. I do. This my out-of-body experience, bitch. Go find your own. Go search the galaxy, because this one's mine. All right, guys. <laughs> um, they are cutting me off. I might jump back on here a little bit later. I got Sid coming in <laughs> so we can get some content. In the meantime, just want to say thank you. Today was a good day. It was a good talk. Happy Sunday. If you can, please follow all of my platforms. Uh, OnlyFans $10 additional content can be found in the DM section for purchase. Also, we have TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, um, Snapchat, and of course, if you're not on my backup page, I am Taylor May without the underscores, all of which can be found on IamTaylorMade.com. Don't forget, we have the live talk to Taylor February 11th. If you are looking to come, please let me know. It is a singles edition, and I will extend that invite to you right here in the city of Detroit, okay, guys? So I will get back with y'all a little bit later. I have fun with you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tapping in. I'll see you later.